I'm standing in a field with a cover crop mix planted and uh, this probably went in around the middle of July. It is now the 29th of August. Uh, so this was a wheat field that was harvested. So we're seeing some volunteer wheat coming up as it normally does. And the obvious thing is that buckwheat is flowering. Um, that's going to make seeds, so that's obviously a problem. We have radish, lots of radish. That is doing nicely, uh, but many of them are really pale, so it is running out of nitrogen. So it's retrieving all the nitrogen, but uh, a good radish cover crop should have a better nitrogen supply than this one does. We have a few odds and ends, so we've got a soybean coming up, we've got corn coming up, don't know what they're doing. Uh, sunflowers were part of the mix, and here and there, uh, the sunflowers are doing very well. Um, one of the challenges with sunflowers, of course, is that they make quite a thick stem. And that is going to be difficult to manage uh, once they mature. Um, so the question is, what's the decomposition going to be in this? How are they going to manage the buckwheat seeds? And uh, the radishes are going to be undersized because they don't have enough nitrogen. So could they have done a better job managing the radishes? So. That one's only as big as my thumb so far, so it's got a ways to go, and maybe a challenge getting there. And, oh, look there, we've got clover too. Um, so by spring, this may be primarily a clover stand, and along with the winter wheat. So there's a look at a cover crop mix um, that looks okay now. Good combination, but it's really a question whether it's going to do any job particularly well.